According to the report, his real name is Matthew Peter DeLuca. And he lives in a mansion on the Upper East Side and goes to a private school that costs 60K a year. Plus, wait, wait, what? You are I need everybody to go over to my Instagram and follow me to stay up to date when I post videos and to stay connected with me. I appreciate all the love and support and let's get into the video. YouTube, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Josh back with some more reactions. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are not, welcome back, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And if you're not subscribed, because if you're not subscribed, man, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We on the way to 3,000 subs. All right, that's my goal to hit this month. I appreciate all the love and support that y'all been showing. Y'all been going crazy on the videos. Um, and I just want to keep dropping for y'all. My goal is to drop every day. And that's what we've been doing lately, man. Dropping every day two times a day and we might even drop three times a day it, it depends on you know what i'm saying how i'm feeling and stuff like that but other than that man i appreciate y'all and without further ado let's tap into today's video today's video man we got the newest drill plant lil mabu um it's by hip-hop daily if y'all don't know man lil mabu is very liked on my channel man um i believe my two highest viewed video is Lil Mabu. I believe one is at 23k and another one's at 20k I think man so y'all definitely love Lil Mabu on my channel so I seen this video um it is old it's like a month ago but I was like hey I ain't seen it so let's do a reaction to it man and Lil Mabu hasn't really dropped any music in a good little minute so I'm like hey why not tap into it see what this whole little video is about if y'all don't know when we first started doing Lil Mabu bro and he was talking crazy and stuff like that um I was like bro is he really like that you know what I'm saying like, like, is he really about that life? You know what I mean? Is he really about that street shit? That was always a question in my head. You know what I mean? Like, is he really about that life? And I know a lot of people um, was thinking about it too. So I believe this video basically going to sum it up to us. If he about that life or is he just chatting? Or like the title of this video says, is he just a drill plant? All right, we about to see. We about to tap into it. And uh, let's go, man. Without further ado, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Drill rap is all about dissing dead ops, rapping about murder, and proving that you really about that life. Bronx Drill is one of the most violent rap scenes in the world. So how is a rich white kid taking it over right now? This is the wild story of how Lil Mabu went from living in mansions and sending disses at legit gang members. Let's get right into it. Back in 2019. Nigga used to live in mansions, bro. Cause I know his dad. I'm I'm sorry for for um stopping so early, man. But I know his dad. I believe his dad is rich or famous i believe he like a producer or something like that he owns some company bro i don't know man but Lil mabu food this nigga do be running youtube like if you go to his channel bro damn near all his videos is that like three million views like people really fuck with Lil mabu bro he like a little young boy for some reason you know what i mean like youtube just just gravitates towards Lil mabu i don't know why people just be fucking with this nigga bro i don't know bro but yeah Lil Mabu hopped in the game at around 14 years old and started dropping melodic rap songs. His early music sounded like if Post Malone never hit puberty, and Mabu <laughs> wasn't picking up any momentum. Hey, that nigga said Post Malone never hit puberty. <laughs> hey, Hip Hop Daily funny as hell. <laughs> Anyone can grab a beat off of YouTube and record a track on their phone these days. But something was sketchy about Mabu from the jump. He was an independent artist that nobody knew. But even his first songs sounded like they were produced and recorded by industry vets. It was clear that Mabu had some money behind him. But that didn't mean anyone was paying attention. His pop rap tracks weren't taking off at all. So in 2021, hey, why he just stole the phone out of the First time he rapped over a drill beat, it's on the track Move It, where he laid down some basic bars like, I got these bands on me. I got a friend on me. She used to leave me on scene. I ran these racks with my dudes, on the phone making some moves. You hit me out of the blue? Yeah, you used to clown me at school. Mabu wasn't rapping about catching bodies yet, but it was still a crazy switch up from his first track. And when he followed it up with the track Demon Time, it was clear that Mabu was going all in with Drill. Demon Time is a way more aggressive track. Mabu went from rapping about getting clowned at school to laying down lines like, do what I say so, you gonna fall like a table. Demon Time, Angel, my brothers, they told him to fuego. They try to pull up on me. When I see my people, I know they gonna leave. And don't cross me, I'm not Jesus. Run up a check, fingers they blue, you know the vibes, I stay with the crew. The video for the track popped off and almost hit a million views. Mabu was making some noise in the drill scene, but it was always pretty clear he wasn't really about that life. Just like how his early tracks. Yeah, them, like hey, cause them um tracks that he just put in here, bro, and them verses, them verses real basic. You know what I'm saying? If you go to what he rapping about now, which I'm pretty sure he about to go into in this video, it's totally different. You know what I'm saying? He talking about he was getting clowned. Now he talking about he he uh, shooting niggas, dissing niggas, and all that. Who 
So it's like, oh my God, who let me find out Mabu really would not about that life. <laughs> cause it's funny, bro, because I believe one of my Mabu videos, the title of that joke is like, is he really about that life? Or something like that. Like, is he that serious? Something like that, man. If y'all go to my video, y'all see the title. It says something like that, bro. Actually produced the video for Demon Time, obviously at a decent budget. Most drill rappers just shoot their videos out on the street or in the project. But Mabu had expensive studio sets and a lot of production for his very first music video. He followed Demon Time up with the track King of the World and got even more aggressive. On the track, he said, put a blue face on a plain Jane, but I ain't no crit. Peep the fit, you want the smoke? Then pull up on the fifth. Ten of the windows, they blacked out. Said I was broke, so I'm whipping the racks out. Little boy tried to fight, but he tapped out. Hang with the drillers that's spinning the background. <laughs> Little Wabu was racking hundreds of thousands of Okay, Wabu. <laughs> it didn't take long before that boy called him like shit. Huge <laughs> Jesus, a rapper from the Bronx who got active in the streets when he was young. He reps a gang called the YGs who have issues with the OGs, Southside, and other crews in the area. The YGs and OGs were actually all the same gang back in the day, but then someone high up in the crew crossed another member and they ended up splitting into two different groups. Like most dudes in the drill scene, Yusuf was active in the streets before he started making music. He didn't start writing songs till he got locked up, but it didn't take him long to make waves in the Bronx. He dropped the track Dead Lokes in 2021 and racked up over 2 million plays. And that's when he started calling himself the face of the Bronx. Yusuf wasn't feeling a dude like Mabu jacking the drill culture. And they started sending shots back and forth on social media. This and other artists has always been part of the rap game. This situation was different. Dudes in the Bronx oh. scene aren't just rap. Is that how um that whole cop situation came up? Because if y'all listen to Mabu on his freestyle, when he's on the radar freestyle, he was saying how he wasn't a cop. He was like, I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. Yes, geez, he just put on his drone on that live right there. It said Lil Mabu a cop. Maybe that's where um Mabu got this shit from. He was like, I'm not a cop. You know what I mean? About stories they made up in their heads. They come from a place where saying the wrong things to the wrong person can get you killed. And it seems like Mabu don't realize that some people are really about that life, and it's not just an image they put on a music video. Mabu took the beef to another level when he linked up with Yush G's op, Shah E.K. for a diss track called Everyone K. Shah's a Bronx rapper who reps the OGs, which automatically makes him op for use. But even though they rep rival crews, they didn't have any personal beef until Yu started calling himself the face of the Bronx. Shaw sent a shot with the track face of the what and said, Okay, 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 okay. So basically, what I'm getting from the whole New York drill stuff is, right, if I'm from one gang, right, and you from another gang, we automatically have beef for some reason. Like, we automatically don't fuck with each other just because we in two different gangs, which I don't understand. <laughs> like, if you ain't do nothing to me, fool, why are we beefing? But for some reason out there, it's like, all right, you over there, I'm over here. We probably in the same vicinity. We just automatically got beef and, and it's smoke. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just weird to me. But hey, that's how they do that shit out in New York, bro. Please, you the face of the Bronx? Like how? Where's my mother? You shot. We dropped a bit on the same day. We can see that I'm lit. You not. You and shot been going back and forth ever since. So my boo links up with shot and send more shots at you. On the track Everyone K, Mabu said, I don't mess with nobody, it's Everyone K. If you're looking for me, come and play. Say Mabu's a cop, but y'all talk to the Jakes. He a rap, and out the same day. You got knocked for a body, but they dropped the case. You a snitch, it's a shame. We smoking on B, and that's straight to the face. I said beat it, kicked him out the state. He also called Yus out by name, and clowned him for getting a social security number leaked online with the bar. Use G's, where you stay? Let me send you a new pair of shades. Thanks for the SSN, I'm getting paid. Open three SBAs in your name. <laughs> Use was also exposed for- Wait, how is, wait, 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 how is fucking uh, SSN get leaked? Hey, if somebody know how this nigga SSN got leaked, please let me know, who. Cause how did that, how does that happen, who? I don't, I don't get that. Like he had to show it, or like somebody from the feds wanted like the inside type shit, which sounds dumb, but I did. That just like sounds crazy to me. Who nigga SSN got leaked? Who? Or use G's. Where you stay? Let me send you a new pair of shades. Thanks for the SSN. I'm getting paid. Open three SBAs in your name. Use was also exposed for allegedly rocking fake designer. Mabu called him out and said, Use G's got the craziest fits. He be rocking one on one designer. So I gotta admit, I got no drip. He fly. Oh, that's why he said that. Fits. Oh, he shipping them straight out of China. Okay. Use okay, that's why he said that, bro. Because when I heard that song and I reacted to it, I'm like, bro, why has Lil Mabu telling another nigga that he's flyer than him? You know what I mean? I was like, bro, why is he saying that? But he was trolling this nigga because he wear fake designer. <laughs> Okay, Mabu. Okay, Mabu. Now I understand it, bro. Because at first, I'm like, bro, this supposed to be a diss track. And you, like, 
giving this nigga props on his fit, but he was trolling, bro. That's hilarious. <laughs> I did not know that. Brit, he fly. You she's got the craziest fit. Heard he shipping them straight out of China. <laughs> you clap back with the song in my mood. Nigga said out of China. Lil Mabu. I don't know where you from. I just bought a new chop. Put the beam on a drum. You a kid. When I see you, you done. The uh. five got kicked. Trying to get him and run. Beef when you should put more eyes on Mabu though. And last summer, he started running up crazy numbers. The tracks like No Snitching with Dusty Locaine. The video hit over 7 million views on YouTube. And the track ran up over 50 million plays on Spotify. Mabu dropped his debut album for Double Lens. But what's wild is who he got features from. He had Shy E.K., Dougie B, D Thing all on the project. And they all have complicated street ties in real life. Shy used to be cool with Dougie B and K Flock back in the day. But they had to fall in order for something and don't work together. D Thing's apparently K Flock's cousin, but he repped the YGs. And his enemies were flocking Shy E.K. too. He sent a shot at Shy on the track Talk Facts and said, Jiggy Man Dumbass got hit. That's word on my mother, they never do shit. But Shaw actually did these things that friend Delilah first. On the track D D, he said, There's a whole lot of ops I can smoke, but I'd rather just smoke on Delilah. Delilah Vasquez was a friend of D Thing who was tragically shot in the head in 2021. And Shaw sent a savage diss at D Thing over her death. Nah, Bobby that's crazy. <laughs> <ain't know anything laughs> nah, that's crazy, fool. This nigga said, I can smoke anybody, but I'm smoking on Delilah. That's crazy, fool. Oh my god. These niggas don't care about New York. They have no sympathy in their heart, bro. That shit is crazy. Oh, my God. Delilah. Delilah Vasquez was a friend of D-Thing who was tragically shot in the head in 2021. Dang, shot in the head. Shot D-Thing over her death. Mabu proved that he didn't know anything about the scene he's trying to hop into by putting all of these dudes on the same project. But apparently they all cool with it. He's getting them clout and views. Mabu's latest track is a collab with Didi Osama called Bro. Didi Osama started blowing up last year after his 15-year-old brother Nadi stabbed to death in the subway. Nadi was a drill rapper too and had tracks popping off, but he was tragically taken by the streets before he could leave him behind. After Nadi died, crew called Fo One dropped the track Nadi Bob, which went viral on social media, had all kinds of people doing the dance and mock That's movie. crazy. Now Didi's blowing up too, but he says none of it really matters to him since his brother can't be here with him to experience it. That's what makes this whole thing with Mabu even worse. He's not just rapping about guns and catching bodies. He was a real people who dealt with real tragedies for clout. And the New York Post just exposed Lil Mabu for who he really is. According to the report, his real name is Matthew Peter DeLuca. He lives in a mansion on the Upper East Side and goes to a private school that costs 60 k a year. Plus, wait, wait, what? Oh, no, go back, go back, go back. We got to read this, fool. We have to read this. According to the report. The 17-year-old rapper's real name is Matthew Peter DeLuca. And he lives in his parents' five-bed, five-bath, fool. With 3,300 square feet condo on the Upper East Side, during school breaks or on weekends, he can escape the Hamptons, where his family owns a $6,000 square foot mace and water mill. The two properties are worth close to 12 million total. What the fuck? So this nigga's a fraud. <laughs> this nigga Mabu is a fraud, fool. This nigga's not rapping about nothing he living on, fool. Report. His real name is Matthew Peter DeLuca. He lives in a mansion on the Upper East Side and goes to a private school. He's a senior at Collegiate School, the, the nearly 400 year old Manhattan prep that costs 60000 a year and has school generations of Vanderbilts and Kennedys. Oh my God. This nigga, my boo, had us fooled. This nigga had us thinking he was the next fucking Eminem. <laughs> the next motherfucking. Um, Coldest white boy ever, bro. Like, most savage white boy ever. Nah, hell nah. This nigga's a fraud, fool. Oh, my God. Maybe that's why he ain't drop no music no time soon. Because niggas know he capping. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it cost 60 k a year. Plus, his family owns another mansion in the Hampton. When he was at a middle school that cost over 50 k a year, Mabu was such a good student that he earned the headmaster's prize for strength of character. Mabu's trying to jack the drill culture of artists who really have to survive the streets while he goes to the same school JFK did. It's not clear if his career will burn out now the truth is out there. But Shy E.K. told the Post he don't have street cred, but they disrespect it because they know he has music talent. A lot of nah, he do though. Don't that, think drill. That is facts, bro. Lil Mabu, even though he might be capping in his raps, the nigga can can definitely rap though. Like he got music talent, he got potential. He just capping. <laughs> That's all it is. Like he really hard as fuck. He just capping. That's all. That's really it, bro. The nigga just lying. You promoted at all because of all the violence going down behind the music. Others say he gets people away out of the streets and the violence will be happening anyway. Slim Jesus was another white kid. Slim Jesus, yes. That's who Ma Lil Mabu is. 
at Slim Jesus, but even though I think Slim Jesus was like really like that though. Like he was really about that life. I'm completely off after he admit I'm behind the music. Others say he gets people away out of the streets and the violence will be happening anyway. Slim Jesus was another white kid who blew up making drill music. His career fell completely off after he admitted that everything in his music was capped. Oh, he was capping. Okay. Mabu, <laughs> but we know he won't have to worry about going. Oh, yeah, he's Slim Jesus 2.0. Oh, yeah, this nigga Slim Jesus 2.0. For real, for real. I did not know Slim Jesus was capping his raps. Well, I probably knew, but I just I haven't heard nothing about Slim Jesus and who knows how long. So I probably just forgot about the nigga, honestly. Yeah, y'all, that was that the newest drill plant, Lil Mabu. That was a fun video right there. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely glad I watched that one, bruh. Now I know that, like, Mabu is just doing this shit just for the music, you know what I mean? Like, nothing he's saying really, like, mean nothing for real, you know what I mean? It's all just fun and games for real, for real. That's crazy, bruh. I'm actually glad that he brought in that Slim Jesus mentioned it at the end. That, that's basically who Mabu is, bruh. He's just a Slim Jesus, for real, for real. But damn, man, that's crazy. This nigga Mabu live in a five-bed, five-bathroom, fool. And he rapping about he on the street dissing shooting that nigga school that shit is crazy to me bruh but hey we still gonna react to some marvel <laughs> we still gonna react to some marvel where once he dropped um but he hasn't dropped in a while maybe this is why he hasn't dropped in a while bruh because niggas know that he's capping i don't know that was my reaction to that make sure y'all like comment subscribe we're on the way to 3,000 subs man go ahead hit that subscribe button if you not subscribe if you're not subscribed i don't know what you're doing but go ahead hit that subscribe button and we're going up and i just want to appreciate y'all man but uh, it's your boy josh and i'm out Life. Uh, niggas keep wearing them hats, stop dick round, you don't get paid like that Draw me a deuce, got me taking a nap, I, I, I see an album, forget not rap No goofies allowed, can't blow up this spot, loving that smoke like a nigga do crap How off this drink, but I'm watching my back, shit get snake, don't fall in the trap Be deep in this shit, I ain't calling no quits, still in the hood, still told my stick